Welcome to part two of Mega Man Eternal Creator's Playthrough. So, let's get started here. We're going to start with my favorite level out of the Robot Master stages, although I love and enjoy most of them, but this is probably my favorite one. The Illusion Man, the deceptive robot. Ready. So, I bet you're wondering, where are we anyway? So, right now we're at uh, the Lost Rooms, so let me give you a description of this Robot Master. Dr. Wily used the Megadetas to build this mysterious Robot Master. He can create illusions such as creating, generating copies of himself and even increasing his size. To protect Dr. Wily's plans, Illusion Man contains them and will never release them even if destroyed. Tasked with luring Mega Man, he resides in the ruins near the coast preparing for his next grand illusion. And here we are! This is what we're looking at. So this is... So the Lost Ruins is pretty much a... It is a ruin that is coming to life based on Illusion Man's weaponry. And you already notice the Yoku Blocks. So this level is littered with Yoku Blocks and illusions. So, as you probably saw, there was a flower there with a spike uh, that they change back and forth. Be very careful, do not trust anything in this level. It is designed to trick you. So if you see a flower, be cautious. Now we're entering a part where we have a flickering screen uh, backdrop. So you'll notice that it only flashes where the solid blocks are. So what I suggest is take out that metal really fast. You'll find that the, the Mage Giros don't give you a whole lot of trouble, but anyways, let me explain that. So, in this game, there is an enemy series called the Jiro series. So the Jiros are a bunch of Mega Data robots that Dr. Wily has created to help carry out his actions. So, so there's a whole bunch of different kinds. You'll see a whole variety of them in this game. And there's Eddie. So in this game, Eddie returns and he does what he typically does. He drops down different items in an arbitrary way because he's trying to help you out. Now we're in the second half of the level. You'll notice that these platforms right here, they only appear when you're close by. Now, you're seeing these spike flowers ahead of time, the illusion of flowers. Do not trust the flowers at all. In particular, you want to be very careful. Now, here's the Illumion right up here. Now, be very careful because they do not come visible unless you're close enough to them. So, in particular, you just got to watch out for the tongues and don't run into them. I suggest just keeping your distance and just shooting. You'll notice that we haven't gotten hit so far. <laughs> I'm not going to be maintaining that this whole run. But, uh, but yeah, I'll be trying, but oh well. But I, I, I'm intending this to be a fun run that tells you a lot about the game and also shows you some tips and tricks to beat the game. We're entering the Yoku Block Tower area. So the trick here is just to wait for, for when you start seeing the first three blocks that get yourself up there, up to that ladder over on the left side. So that's the, what you're looking for here. So, one thing that's worth noting is just the, the way these Yoku blocks operate. So note that they have fun little quirks with them, but the, the key thing is you want to make sure you make your, jo your jumps count. If you don't make them count, you may end up falling, or you may get a lucky chance to get through. So one tip I have here is just to throw off the cycle of the Mage Jiro, dodge a shot, come down a little bit, and then go back up and around. We're almost to the end of the level, so just here, just be very careful when it comes to those flowers once again. So remember, one thing that this course kind of resembles, it's meant to be about awakening. So you see that there's these ruins, but the ruins really are coming to life based on the majestic illusions of Illusion Man. So, one thing that you may notice is that this is actually one of the harder levels, just because of how easy it is to get killed by spikes. So just be very careful, and worry when you're doing platforming. Even just plan out your jumps, you gotta think ahead before you shoot. There we are, we're at the end of the level here. No hits whatsoever, for now. I just have to take an, a moment there just to enjoy the backdrop. Here we go, we're at Illusion Man. So, Illusion Man has a variety of different attacks. He has his Illusion Blast attacks. Now, keep in mind, his Illusion Blast can, uh, cannot be harmed by your Mega Buster. He'll stop it. 
So you know it's riding one attack. He can turn really big. He jumps around the core sometimes. I've been very fortunate in this run, but uh, but yeah, be careful. Uh, but his main thing is that he can create copies of himself. Now note that the copies can't hurt you, but they definitely get in your way. So it's, it's easy to see it on the screen, but when you're experiencing it, when these illusions are all over the place, you're just freaking out trying to find the real one. And you'll notice that when he gets below, I believe it's still about a third of the health, if I remember correctly. What happens is he'll do five copies instead of three. If you're wondering, his weakness is actually Cypher Decode. I'm not doing that in this run, but uh, if you want to make that choice, go for it. And that's Illusion Man's level. So we got his power, Illusion Blast. So Illusion Blast is able to home on enemies. It looks for the closest enemy and aims directly at them. It's very useful for ranged enemies and enemies that you can't reach directly. So let's take a save here. We're up to 13 minutes. So why don't we check out the gallery? Uh, you'll notice that during our earlier part of the stage, we actually got an art piece. It's that little disc that we grabbed. So now you can actually go here and view them. You can zoom in, you can pan, you take a look at some of this art. Some of it's very lovely, especially the official art. So I recommend checking it out. Uh, note that if you get all the art, it'll actually give you the ability to get a secret. And I'll talk more about those in, in a later part, but for now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap things up here and save.